Hi everyone. Good morning one and all. In this video I will be teaching you how to fetch uh, gold rates from Indian websites uh, using Python. So here you can see the current gold rate in India right now for 10 grams is 39,358. That's approximately equal to about $300, about $300 to $350, right, for 10 grams. So let's get started without wasting much of time. So how I did, uh, let me explain you. So I went to a website known as PesaWazar.com. So that's an, maybe an Indian website. Uh, so from this website, I need to get this value, 39,358.30. How do I get that? So that's the question, right? So first of all, the way I did it is as follow. So I went to the website. Uh, first, I tried to look for the API keys, but I was not able to find it. Then I said, hey, let's do the web scraping. So I do inspect, right? let it open it might take a while so i clicked on my mouse i hover over the element that i want to scrape and i make sure what's the class name i took this class name then i went to my python script and i did the following stuff so first of all i said let me remove that let's little revise the code a little bit all right so let me type from scratch so we can do a little good so let me just create a new file. It's a Python file. I'm gonna go to gold rate India. All right. So gold rate India. So first of all, um, a good practice would be you, you know what, right? We always use a try and accept block. So a better way to code. So try. Let me increase the font size so everyone can see this. So let's do this. All right. Once done that, I'm going to say accept exception as he print some modules are missing. Do a string formatting a little bit here, a little bit there. And yep. All right. Now that's done. Now what I need to do, guys, I will define a class known as uh, master or data. which will inherit from object. This will have a constructor. All right, let's see what. Because I also code C++, so sometimes I get confused with the syntax. I'm like, is it C++ or? <laughs> so class gold rate inherit from object. All right. Let's define the constructor. Let's define the header, which is going to be a private attribute. All right. I'm going to copy this stuff. I don't know why my computer always lags when I'm recording video. So let's do that. All right. I'm going to say self. Uh, all right. That should be fine. So I made this variable as a private variable, right? By saying that double underscore. All right, my header is defined. My constructor is defined. Now let's write the get method. So now what do you have to do? Yeah, just the get method. I'm gonna use a property decorator. gonna say get because this will get return of data all right looks good all right now let's write our code so very first thing is we need the URL which is right here all right let's do that so I copied the URL. All right. Now, what do we need to do guys is basically make our soup object, make the request. All right. So now the headers would be remember self dot headers because we just initialize that in the constructor underscore underscore because it's a private attribute. Remember? 
so now the header is defined the url is defined you know what we can also define the url up right here so our get method is very clean all right looks good the url attribute is a public so if anyone wants to change it can change it right so that's what the advantage of object oriented code so here self dot url right looks good um just need to iterate over the data and return the data now not a big deal all right so let me define my uh data so a tab little here a tab there all right so that should be fine um uh let's return a list of string and uh, you know data and um, you know what instead of printing this some um, say data append all right well and after that just need to break the loop if not right uh, and you know what return the data uh, so all right that's complete and let's write the runner code i mean let's try to run it if underscore underscore name underscore equal to main what i want to do i want to create an object for that gold rate ah. okay so i want to create an object for the gold rate and to get the data it's as simple as just saying dot get <laughs> all right let me just make sure the spacing is correct all right yep that's perfect two space or maybe three space according to the pepe uh yep that's fine all right so um i need to say my data is equal to obj dot get that's it it's a method so this should work and i can say so mel the goal rates oops goal rates in india colon remember you want to give a tab out there so to nicely specify that and of course format uh dot format and remember it's a list right so wanna see all right so let's run it and see if that works so if i run it i should get the goal rates it takes a while because uh, you know so here you see sawmill the gold rates in india is 39353.30 uh, 30 uh, paise sorry i say uh, that's for the 10 grams of uh, gold uh, so that's how you do uh, like fetch a gold rates uh, from uh, websites uh, so this is a very good example uh, the code is there in the github account make sure to check that out if you have any more questions please let me know and i would very happy happy to assist you thank you for watching thank you for all the love support and uh, keep coding keep learning and python is the best <laughs> see you guys in the next video